Okay, we're at Christian's Arts at the moment. Celebrated Carnival last night, and yeah, we're having breakfast this morning. I just got a honey on my pants. <laughs> it sucks. Hi. Hello. <laughs> This uh, kind family invited us for lunch because all the restaurants are closed because of Carnival. So just having having a beer. <laughs> and Aaron's about to blow up some firecrackers. Yes. Watch it, puppy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good luck. Uh. <laughs> We've come probably about forty k's today. about 40 k's and it's only 11 o'clock so it took us a couple of hours yeah we're really fast now <laughs> <laughs> Alright, last night we camped just past uh, Condor and the main road's closed due to road work so I'm taking this secondary uh, dirt road. Alright, um, I've rode about 10 k's and I've come to the river. <laughs> so, there's no bridge here so I'm going to take off my shoes and try and uh, push my bike across the river here. I've come, or well, maybe 5 k's since the river crossing. Um, there's been so many forks in the road I'm not even sure I'm going the right way anymore. Um, Aaron's behind me somewhere. I don't know if he took the main highway or whether he took the detour road. Hoping he took the detour road, otherwise he could be well ahead of me. Um, I think without the compass I'm not entirely sure I'm still going south, but as long as I keep the mountains to my left, I'm going a bit southeast, but hopefully the road will turn around a bit up ahead. So, Chantelle and I are reunited again. I uh, heard she had a fun little uh, trail, side trail, <laughs> single track, road, fire road. So, um, yeah, I caught up with her in about 45 minutes. I was an hour behind this morning. Uh, I just went around the blockades and the road was <laughs> paved and beautiful. I've had a really nice ride for 45 minutes. Yeah. I can't wait to see the video of Chantelle suffering. <laughs> Lakes and sand dunes. 
plains that stretch forever. Right now we're in uh, Severuo or <laughs> something. Severuo. Yeah. We just had lunch, um, having a bit of a rest. We met a Canadian cyclist um, here who came from uni. Um, yeah. So we're just going to maybe do another hour or two up the road and hopefully the weather will hold. And there's a slight problem in that the road's flooded. So I'm going to have to try and push my bike along the, uh, the railway lines to get across. Very, very windy, and the gaps are fairly large between the planks. And I was terrified a train was going to come. <laughs> How is the bridge crossing? pretty deserted on this stretch. this sort of secondary road rather than the highway because it's less bumpy and a bit shorter in terms of distance. Alright, it's Sunday morning and the uh, fuel stove malfunctioned last night so we're trying to make oats on a campfire this morning which is, we've got boiling so it's all good and it's about 20 k's to where we can sort of, the next village before uni where we can hopefully stop for lunch and maybe get some dry supplies for dinner. Alright, we're currently in uni at a um, roast potato and chicken shop <laughs> and we managed to hitchhike a ride on a tourist bus <laughs> this morning which saved our life because we had like 60, 55, 60 kilometres to, uh, to walk. We had to camp last night because of uh, very heavy rain and, <laughs> and hail. So very happy to be here and here is food.